positive. Think positive. But how can you think positive all the time? Anybody can think positive once in a way. It's not a big challenge. But to think positively all the time is a big challenge. When I grew up as a kid, I read many books. Many books. Books that said, have a positive mental attitude. Think positive, live positive, be positive. Who doesn't want to be positive? But the challenge is how can we be positive? The challenge is how can we eliminate negativity from our life? That's not easy. You can be positive, but soon you will be negative. Just like there is day and night. Sometimes we are glad, sometimes we are sad. Sometimes we feel excited. There is optimism, there is pessimism. How can we be happy all the time? How can we think positive all the time? There is a way. There is a way where you can think positive all the time. The way to think positive is to be in a state of mind which is not the mind. Because the mind does not know the meaning of thinking positive. The mind will constantly bombard us with thoughts. Thoughts of fear, worry, stress, anxiety, regret, shame, guilt. The mind does not know the meaning of positive thinking. But we have been programmed, we have been taught, we have been fooled by the mind. That the mind can think positive. But the mind does not know. Who then thinks positive? Who will help us to reach that state of positive thinking? It is not the mind. It is the intellect. As long as we are in a state of mind, we will be bombarded with negative thoughts. But if we reach that state of thoughtlessness, of mindfulness, of consciousness, when we flip over from mind to consciousness, we can flip over from negative to positive. How do you do it? You can do it if you realize that the mind, the spelling of mind is N-E-G-A-T-I-V-E. The spelling of mind is not M-I-N-D. The spelling of mind is negative because the mind only knows negative. You will, you will not agree with me as you listen to me saying mind is negative. But that is the truth. The truth is the mind wants to bombard us with thoughts. The mind wants to keep us in ignorance. The mind doesn't want us to be positive, to be happy. It will give us a little flavor of joy and pleasure once in a way to fool us. But if you want to think positive, you need, to, you need to make sure that there are no thoughts. You need to reach that state of consciousness. You need to activate your intellect. And then thoughts will come. And you can discriminate. And you can choose. And you can choose to be positive. Being positive is a choice. You can choose to love or to hate. To have fear or to have courage. To be optimistic or pessimistic. To be positive is a choice. And it only comes when you flip over from a state of mind to a state of consciousness. In a state of consciousness, you can be positive all the time because you are in a state of intellect being activated. When the intellect is activated, then you are the master. There was once a man, he was riding a horse. Somebody asked him, where are you going? He said, I don't know. Ask the horse. <laughs> when we are in a mind state, the mind becomes the boss. The mind becomes the boss because the mind rides our life horse. The mind is in command. But if you reach that state where you still the mind, you still the mind, you kill the mind, 
you activate the intellect and consciousness, then you become the boss. The challenge of life is that we must be in the master's seat. We must be in the cockpit. We must be in command of our life plane. By being <coughs> the one who is holding the reins. They say life, life is like a chariot. And the chariot has five horses. And these five horses are our five senses. The eyes, the nose, the ears, the tongue, the skin. These five senses have got sense perceptions, sensual desires, and they are going all over the place. We need to have the reins, which is the mind. But we need to be the charioter. We need to hold the reins, hold the mind that holds the senses. Then we will be in charge of our life. We will be able to think positive. You can be positive all the time. You can think positive all the time. But there are two flips we must make. The first flip is to flip over from a state of mind to a state of consciousness. And the second flip is to flip over from a state of NEP to a state of PEP. What is NEP? What is PEP? NEP is negative energy poison. PEP is positive energy power. Have you ever seen the mind? Where is the mind? You cannot find. Still the mind makes us blind. Because the mind is like a thought factory. It has no physical existence. It is there. It is there in every human being, but you can't see it. It exists as a creator of thoughts. Therefore, when there are thoughts, the mind appears. And when there are no thoughts, there is no mind. Haven't you heard people saying, meditate, contemplate, concentrate? When you are in that state, when you meditate, you contemplate, you concentrate, there are no thoughts, there is no mind. Therefore, the mind is a thought factory. It doesn't let you meditate. It doesn't want you to contemplate. Because the moment you concentrate, you will reach the state of consciousness. You will activate your intellect and the mind will be dead. And you will be the master. But the mind doesn't want to die. That's why the mind doesn't let you find out who am I. The mind envelops us in ignorance and makes us think we are this body, we are the mind, we are the ego, we are me. When in reality, we are not. But that's not the point. The point is, how can we be positive? How can we think positive? This mind is a thought factory. It's producing thought. And just like in any factory, the product produced depends on the raw material. If you have a bottle factory, if it's a bottle factory and you're providing raw material that is plastic, you'll have plastic bottles. If the raw material is glass, you'll have glass bottles. And just like in a factory, that produces a product. The mind is a thought factory. If you provide it nep, negative energy, poison, it will produce negative thoughts. If you provide it pep, positive energy, power, it will produce positive thoughts. Therefore, if you want to think positive all the time, you need to provide the right raw material to the mind the thought factory all the time. NEP is raw material, so is PEP. We cannot choose our thoughts, but we can choose our emotions. Emotion is energy in motion, emotion. You can choose your emotion. You, you can choose to love or hate. You can choose to doubt or have faith. That is your choice. And that is the emotion. The emotion that we choose becomes the raw material. The emotion can be NEP, the emotion can be PEP. And if you're providing NEP, you will have negative thoughts. If you're providing PEP, you will have positive thoughts. Let us be very clear. Because if you have NEP, emotions like fear, guilt, shame, regret, worry, stress, anxiety, Revenge, hate, anger, jealousy, pessimism. These are all NEP. And if you have PEP, 
Emotions like love, faith, hope, trust, enthusiasm, courage, confidence, compassion, forgiveness, optimism. Just, just repeating the names of these emotions releases positive hormone, a positive chemical in the blood. Therefore, we have to learn how to flip from negative emotion, NEP, to positive emotion, PEP. If you are able to flip from NEP to PEP, you can flip from being negative to being positive. So there are two flips. First, we have to flip from a state of mind to a state of consciousness, from a state of thoughts to a state of thoughtlessness. That's the first flip. Then the second flip, to flip from NEP to PEP. People often ask me, why, why must we flip from NEP to PEP? I tell them you must flip from NEP to PEP because there is something known as a thought chain. Have you heard of the thought chain? Emotions. Emotions create thoughts. Thoughts create feelings. Feelings create actions. Actions create habits. Habits create a character. Character creates a destiny. Therefore, if you want to choose your destiny, you have to choose your emotions. You have to make a conscious choice to flip from NEP to PEP. If you live a life of negative emotions, NEP is negative energy that is poison. These emotions are toxic. They are a toxic raw material and they provide the thought factory, the mind, raw material that is toxic, negative, and so our thoughts will be toxic, will be negative. How can you think positive all the time? Not only will your emotion be negative, your emotion will be negative, so will your attitude, your reaction, your thoughts, your feelings, your mood, your action, your habits, your character, your destiny. But just turn around and try to be in a state of pep, Pep, which is positive energy, has power. Have pep as a chosen emotion. Then your thought factory, your mind is constantly producing positive thoughts because you are providing it positive raw material. Then the thought chain works in a positive cycle. Positive emotions will lead to a positive attitude. What you choose, a behavior, a positive attitude, a positive behavior, a positive thought. Positive feelings, positive mood, positive actions, positive habits, positive character, positive destiny. So if you want to think positive all the time, you need to be conscious about being in consciousness. The moment you are bombarded by thoughts, you can be sure nep is on the way. Still the mind, kill the mind. The moment you are in that state where you are in consciousness, you can flip over from nep to pep. You can choose your emotions, choose your attitude, and you can think positive all the time. But not when you are in the state of the mind. The mind will make you blind. A mind which you cannot find. The mind is nothing but thoughts. With these toxic thoughts, you are sure to have a toxic life. You cannot think positive. How can you think positive when you are a slave of your mind? You will take misery to your grave because the mind is constantly bombarding you with thoughts. You know, it can produce 50 thoughts a minute. This can be 50,000 thoughts a day. You ever wonder why you have stress and worry and anxiety? How will you deal with 50,000 thoughts a day? When the thought of the mind sometimes is one thought, but that one thought is drilling us, it's killing us. It's enough to rob our positivity. Therefore, if you want to think positive, you want to be positive, you want to live positive, flip from mind to consciousness. And if you flip from mind to consciousness, you also flip from nep to pep. Therefore, being positive is not a fairy tale. After reading so many books, I wrote a book, How to Flip from mind to consciousness. How to flip from nep to pep. This is not a book of theory. It's a practical book of how I lived a life of positivity. I learned how to be positive all the time. 
And I teach people that you can be positive. You can live positive. If you eliminate nep, then your life becomes a life of pep. If you kill the mind, you steal the mind, then you're always living in a state of consciousness. It's a state of eternal happiness. Many of us are searching for bliss, but we don't realize that eternal bliss is in truth consciousness. Eternal bliss is in truth consciousness, a state where there is no mind. And to get to that state, first shoot nep out and let your life be pep. Fill your life with positive emotions. That tames the monkey mind and makes it into a monk. When you remove the junk of nep, the monkey mind will become a monk with pep. And then you are ready to flip from mind to consciousness. And then you can choose. You can think positive. Because actually it's not the mind. The mind is no more. Who thinks positive? The intellect. How does the intellect awaken? In consciousness. How do you get to consciousness? You still the mind. The mind is a rascal. Kill it before it kills you. If you let the mind take charge, it will ride your life horse. It will be the boss. It will make you go into a state of negativity. Therefore, to think positive all the time, take charge of your mind. Take charge of your intellect. And you can think positive all the time.